Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install AutoCAD for Mac on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm recording this on my MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Max chip. And today I'm going to show you basically how to go ahead and install the software and get it working on your M1 Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It just takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So what I want to do is to go to the Autodesk website and we'll go to the free trial. So I'm going to actually download this and install this on my M1 Mac and click download the free trial section here. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. So what you need to do is to log into a free account. So if you haven't created an account already or you have an existing Autodesk account, then you should log into it now. However, since I'm not a customer, I'm going to start a trial. I'm just going to fill out the forms here and then press next and then fill out our address details. So now that we've completed that form, we're going to go ahead and press the download button here. And this is downloading a 1.1 gigabyte file. So just let that download and complete. So once the download's complete, we're gonna to go to Finder and then we're gonna to go to our downloads folder in Finder. I'm gonna find our DMG file, which is right here. I'm gonna double click on it. And then we have this installer file here. So we have this window that's just popped up. And what we need to do is to double click on install Autodesk for AutoCAD. So it's saying here that AutoCAD is an app downloaded from the internet. We're gonna press open anyway. Here we'll press okay. Here we're going to press OK to give it permission. And now it's started going through the installation process. So next it's going to ask you to type in your password. So I'm going to type in my password here and press OK. And now it's going to go ahead and prepare the installer for us. Here it's asking us to agree to the terms and conditions. I'm going to press Agree and press Next. And then we're going to install it on the internal hard drive. So I'm going to press Install here. And then we're just going to allow AutoCAD 2023 to install for Mac. So once this is complete, we can go ahead and press the Start button here. And this is going to verify here. And now you can see that AutoCAD 2023 is starting to open. I'm going to minimize this, close this. And we can inject the installer as well by control clicking and clicking inject installer. I'm just going to wait for this to open up for the first time. Here it's asking us to get permission to access the documents folder. We'll press OK. So now AutoCAD has started. We can sign in with our Autodesk ID or we can enter a serial number or use a network license. Here I'm going to sign in with my Autodesk ID. Here I'm going to sign in. So here it's just saying we can start our trial. I'm going to close this window now. I want to go into the actual software itself. Here we're going to press OK on privacy settings. And then here we are inside AutoCAD for Mac 2023. We're not going to play any of these tutorials. I'm going to press cancel here. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up one of these template files. So here AutoCAD has opened up. So if we look at the type of software this is, this is an Intel type. So this means that it's using the Rosetta 2 translation layer in order to work on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And as far as I can tell, I'm not really an AutoCAD user. This seems to be a fully functional piece of software. So here we can get the 3D view working. So this seems to be working as normal. If anyone's got experience with using the Mac version of this, then please let me know in the comments if this is working well on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Also, some people might want to be aware that there are differences between the Windows and Mac versions of AutoCAD. For example, here there's a little table which talks about different kind of fonts and workspace and dynamic blocks, etc. And there's different levels of functionality here. You should double check this before you commit to using AutoCAD on the M1 Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.